fall of 2013, we taught a geology through bike packing course. It was the first time it's ever been taught, and it'll be running again in the upcoming fall of 2015. And this this was a class that I had thought about quite a bit when I was um, preparing to come here and start teaching here a few years ago. And you know, my two real passions in life are mountain biking and bike packing, so multi-day uh, kind of backcountry self-supported bike trips, mountain bike trips, and then geology, which is what I've been studying and teaching for years now. And I was looking for a way to put put these two things together in a way that gets students into the backcountry and get them in a place where they can really, really learn geology well by being so immersed in it for, for days on end. Because it was a block course, it was it gave us a lot of freedom to really shape the course in a unique way in that we were able to take our students into the field on bikes. And so we started in town and just got a little gear and basic geology curriculum laid out. And then we rode from the college here, actually from this warehouse, up into the Bradshaws, which are the closest mountains to this town. And we did a quick overnight um, little gear test and um, systems test and then we left town for the rest of the three weeks where we explored the basically the Mogollon Rim um, and the Colorado Plateau by bike um, studying the geology and we rode around the San Francisco peaks up in Flagstaff. We rode the White Rim Trail um, which is a really popular bikepacking route along the Green River and Colorado River in Canyonlands, Utah. Um, we rode a route called the Dixie Loop, which is over in the Dixie National Forest in southwestern Utah. The beauty of traveling um, by bike is that you spend days traversing a landscape, like a particular section of a landscape. And uh, on the Colorado Plateau, you see similar rock layers extending for tens or hundreds of miles and we would follow these uh, along some of the routes we rode and you could see how specific layers change along that distance. And you can literally watch one layer of rock thin or change into a different type of rock telling a different story and that's something that you know you can't do in a classroom and even um, you know if we take one of our vans and drive from point A to point B and just stop at point B and then another stop and another stop you can sort of see these things but once you're actually moving through the landscape under your own power at you know, eight miles an hour or something like that, you really get a better sense for this. And so that was one of the really fascinating parts of just watching how how the students were able to take this in and process it in real time because real time was slowed down from what, what it might be for driving and it's well beyond what we could have done in a classroom. We developed a relationship with the landscape we were traveling through because you know, our tires had to ride over every kind of rock that we we're encountering. And so the characteristics of those rocks were a lot more evident than if we were driving over them. Mm -hmm. and some have a tendency to puncture tires a lot more quickly, <laughs> and some are more comfortable to sleep on than others. And <laughs> some make better seats for an outside classroom. And so I think all of those day-to-day -day experiences ingrained in us um, the characteristics of the landscape and made learning about the past and the environment that they were formed a lot more tangible. Mm -hmm. There was some, some struggling along the way uh, with, with distance, with terrain, with um, just the, the physical rigor of things. And everybody pulled through in the end, and it was amazing how much stronger and you could visibly see how people were riding better and better with each passing week. But at the end of the course, we asked them if they thought we should change any of the, the routes in any way, and then keep everything the same. Don't make it any easier. So. Uh, I think the, the physical growth that everyone saw in, in terms of their abilities and their, their mental growth in terms of believing in what they can, can physically do on a bike also was really, really great to experience.